Welcome back. This tutorial in Excel will show you how to sort data. So this is a very simple tutorial. We're going to start off um, by sorting this table of data. Um, you can see we've got A1 and all the letters correspond to their number. So A1, B2, C3, etc. So to sort this data we obviously uh, need to know how we want to sort it. So if we wanted to sort it into um, letters alphabetically we can do that and we can also do it numerically as well. Um, so once we've sorted the data you should see that the A1 and B2 continues to match up no matter what order that we sort it in. So if we're going to sort this entire table, if you've got a table of data where pieces uh, or values need to correspond to something else, for example you've got um, a list with people's names, email addresses, phone numbers um, or anything like that, you obviously need all those pieces of data to stay with the same person so you need to select the entire table for that to happen. Um, what we'll do as well for an example is if we put letter and number you'll see how this affects the way we sort the data. So we're going to select the entire table with the headers as well. Go to the data tab and click on sort which is sort of in the middle um, up here. Now you can see that we've got a tick box here that says my data has headers um, and if we untick that you see it will think that that's data as well. So if we've got headers selected we need to select this checkbox and it will um, change the selection uh, so that it's under the headers. So if we click sort by we can see we can sort it by the header. Um, if we uncheck that it will just say, uh, and if we uncheck my data has headers you just be sorting it by the column. So because we've got uh, headers it makes it a bit easier to understand. We can select uh, letter or number. If we select letter then we can sort it on the cell values, the cell colour, the font colour, the conditional formatting icon, but if we choose cell values then you can see that because it's letters um, we can choose A to Z, so if we select A to Z you'll see that it uh, organises it alphabetically and obviously all the numbers line up as well because of that. If I just undo that, go back to data sort um, yeah, we've still got the right selection. If we choose number, this time uh, it'll automatically know that we can say largest to smallest or smallest to largest. So if we choose largest to smallest, we'll start with 10, 9, 8 and then go down to 1 like that. So the important things to remember is to select the entire table if you want data to uh, remain uh, corresponding to other bits of data and obviously make sure you know whether or not you are selecting the headers in your data sort. So I hope you found this video helpful, I hope it's given you a good introduction and a good uh, starting point on sorting data. It obviously can be a bit more complicated but check out other tutorials for that. Um, I will see you in another video, thanks for watching.